Hey everyone! Welcome to another J Knight Battle Report. As always, my name is Jay. And this is Trevor. Now you guys may recognize now those of you who aren't Vault members, you may not recognize him, because he's been we've had two battles to report so far, but mm -hmm. they both have been Vault. But so as always, we're playing Dark Angels versus Space Marines. Vanilla Space Marines. It's gonna be fun. The new codex just came out uh, a couple weeks ago, and we're now gonna try. This is my first time really playing against an interesting Space Marine army. Um, and it's going to be fun. I, I'm excited. I'm oh, smack it, Owen. Shh, they don't know about that one yet. No, it's okay. I, you'll see. Space Marine Week. This will probably be out after Space Marine Week, probably. I don't know. Then they'll see in Space Marine. Yeah. I played against Owen. You'll see it. It's, it's, it's an interesting game. Um, and yeah, so it's gonna be 1,500 points of Dark Angels versus Vanilla Space Marines. And you are bringing some of the new units, I believe. Yep. You're bringing Centurions. Mm -hmm. Very cool stuff. Yeah, the Centurions, we'll see how they go. And you like the new Codex? I'm liking it so far. I like too, it has a lot of flavor. Yeah. It, I thought they were gonna weaken the flavor and said, each group has its own little thing to it. And I like that. It, there's gonna be a lot of diversity, I feel, with Space Marine lists. Mm -hmm. That's cool stuff. And so, without further ado, we'll get to the game type and the deployment. So we'll begin with a brief introduction to the armies. For a full introduction, check out the pre-game show. So here is 1,500 points of Dark Angels, led by Belial with a Thunderhammer Storm Shield. There's a Company Master with Artificer Armor and Power Weapon and Plasma Pistol. I have the squad of Deathwing Knights, three squads of Terminators with Assorted Weaponry, and a squad of Devastators with Plasma Cannons. And that is 1,500 points of Dark Angels. Let's see how they do against the new Iron Knights. And now here is my opponent's Iron Knights. As I mentioned, for an in-depth review, check out the pregame, led by a Captain with Artificer Armor and Power Fist. He has a couple squads of Tactical Marines in Rhinos and Razorbacks. He has Centurions and a Vanguard squad and a Flyer. He has a Storm Talon ship. So we'll see how they do against the Dark Angels. So we'll see what type of game it is. And he rolls a three, which is big guns never tire. We roll to see how many objectives. And there's going to be three objectives. What type of deployment? And it's a six, so table corners. Then we roll to see who goes first. I roll four, he, goes, he rolls a three. I decide to go first so that I can try to get first blood. And we see if there's night fighting. And there is. So here's what the board looks like after deployment. As you can see, we both basically just put most of our squads in reserves. He started with his Centurions on his objective. Uh, that objective is the scatter fielder, I believe, whichever one gives a plus one cover. So the Centurions will get a, a two plus cover this turn. And I started with Terminator squad on my objective and a Devastator squad near the middle objective. That way I can try to score them as well. So he tries to seize the initiative and does not. So it is my turn one, Dark Angels turn one. So I decided to bring in my guys turn one. Belial squad comes in first, doesn't scatter with the knights and then I try with another squad and they do scatter and in fact they mishap so we roll to see on the mishap what happens and I roll a four which means they're coming back next turn so they go an ongoing reserve I try to place another squad then this time a little farther away and luckily they scatter not too far and they're able to uh, to get in without mishapping I start by trying to shoot the Centurions with the Storm Bolters, maybe try to take off a wound or two, and split fire my heavy weapons at the tank. I do my leadership check and I pass. And I, but right now my goal is basically to get first blood, so I shoot my assault cannon first at the tank. Of course I need threes to hit. And luckily they're twin linked the turn that they come in from Deep Strike, and I hit with all of them, that's great. And with those... I do only a glance, he has a 6 foot cover to night fighting, and he passes, so nothing happens there. And then I shoot my Storm Bolters at the Centurions, hoping to maybe just as it, take off a wound or two. It's really hard to crack that 2 plus armor with Storm Bolters, but you never know, it's always worth a shot. And I just keep shooting, and I only do a couple wounds, or sorry, one wound total, he rolls, and he's good. Then I fire at the tank with my Devastators. We'll see if any of them get hot. None of them do. So as I said right now, my goal is just to maybe hit him with a bunch of pie plates, 
kill it and get first blood because first blood is very important in a game like this where there's only a small number of objectives so the first one hits second one hits third one hits as well sorry scatters uh three inches but still ends up hitting the tank Yep, still touches the hall. And the final one scatters three inches, but still, or two inches, but hits as well. And I need four to glance, fives to pen. I get one glance, one pen. So he rolls his cover saves. Pen does not go through, glance does. So I get an, a glance on that tank, knock it down a hall point. And we roll to see the objectives. And it ended up being his, he got, the reason why I didn't shoot at uh, Centurions was because they got a 2 plus cover save due to, they get a plus 1 from the, um, their objective, and plus knife fighting. And I just took a random shot at the Centurions, and they're okay. So nothing happens there, no first blood, and it's Iron Knights, turn 1. So he drops his first drop pod in, and it scatters a good 10 inches. So it'll minimize itself, but it'll get uh, itself right on top of the objective. And luckily, it was a Devastator squad inside that um, particular drop pod. So it's really good. He dropped his heavy support right on top of an objective, and big guns never tire. They can score. And he drops his other drop pod in, and they land right beside it, right on top of my Deathwing. And he moves his... Space Marines recover, trying to get a better shot off at my... Right now, basically, his goal is to take out, again, get first blood, and take out as many of my guys as possible, and he rolls to see what type of objective, and it's sabotage, which means it could explode after every player turn. So first, he begins by shooting at my Devastators, trying to wipe them out and get first blood and just prevent all my those plasma cannons from injuring his guys in the future. And... With new Iron Knights rules, they take their rules from the Imperial Fist, which means that they get to reroll ones to hit with any of the Bolter fire weapons. So they get to reroll a lot, and this actually helped a lot in this game. I get an armor save, and I fail. So that kills the first one alone. And I fired a couple more. So in the end, I just lost half my Devastator squad to that first round of fire, and then he just continues fire with his... Drop pod, I fail my another armor save, so I lose a, a third Devastator, or fourth Devastator, sorry. And then he just keeps firing. He really wants to kill these Devastators. And he fires all his, his special fire. Some got hot, but nobody died due to the it gets hot. So he needs twos and fours to wound, and whiffed crazily. So I roll my armor saves for these Terminators, which he's shooting at. I pass all the first ones, and they're good. And then I roll this, the next wave, and they're good too. So in the end, I only lose the two. Then he moves through difficult terrain with the Centurions to get a little more cover and to get away from my Knights. He really wants to kill the Knights because they have the Smite Mode, which will do just crazy amounts of damage to their guys. So then the tanks are shooting at my Knights to maybe take off one or two wounds before... Uh, before his Centurions have to make a decision of who they're going to shoot at, the Deathwing or the Deathwing Knights. Needs threes, of course, to hit. And gets a lot of hits. Gets a reroll as well. And wounds on twos, and six is rend, of course. So you get a rend, and a couple other wounds. I get my three up pinball, pass that, and I roll my armor saves, and pass all those too. So then the Tactical Marines shoot at my same target, my Deathwing Knights, with Belial. And as I said, right now he's just trying to whittle them down, take as many of them out as possible, because they can easily just bounce around the battlefield, killing everything in their uh, in their path. I got my armor saves again, pass them both. He decides to shoot the Centurions at my knights, so hoping, hopefully they'll kill them, because they wound on twos. And uh, gets a lot of hits with his Hurricane Bolters. And then with his grab guns, gets a few hits as well. Sorry, he just had to reroll a couple of them due to uh, precision shots. And, in the end, he gets a few wounds. Uh, I think his Storm Bolter, or sorry, his Bolter Fire actually does more damage than the the uh, gravity weapons. So he needs two's wound with all his gravity weapons. And then he makes me roll. And I do roll. I fail one in Vol, because it's a three plus in Vol. Sorry, we had a five, but it's actually a three plus in Vol. And I lose... 
another one, and my third one. So I've lost three knights total, and it's down to Belial. And a couple others, Blazel is now the closest. They all go on Blazel, and he's okay. So now it's just him, the sergeant, and one normal guy. So at the end of turn one, here's what the battlefield looks like. Um, I've taken heavy casualties there, and uh, there, and uh, there. But uh, he's taken heavy casualties uh, there, and not there, and not there. Nothing's really happened for him. I shot at you. I think I got a hall point off. You got one hall point off. That was it. Cool. And we'll see what happens in turn two. So, announced Dark Angel's turn Still no first blood yet. So right now my goal is just to get first blood. I drop my knights in, my d Deathwing in. They don't scatter because now Belial's on the table. He's a teleport homer. I decide to separate my company master and maybe throw him at the Devastators. And maybe I was hoping that he'd just take out a bunch of them before him dying. And maybe, as I said, get first blood. And then I don't mind about losing him. Just take out the Devastators and prevent them from scoring that one objective in the center of the table. And that way I can focus on him in the other end. And I just move up all my knights. Right now my goal is just to get into Assault and destroy as much of his army as I possibly can. So first I shoot my Stormbolters from the squad that Deepstruck in at the Marines. And split fire my Heavy Weapon once again at the tank and hopefully destroy it. I shoot and miss with all my shots. Luckily they're twindling because they Deepstruck this turn. And I re-roll, and they all hit this time. It's always great to re-roll these deep striking shots. And I get a pen. He doesn't get a cover save now. I roll on which one, and I get a one. So it loses another hall point, and it just has to snap fire next turn. So then my missile launcher shoots at the drop pot. I figured that may be another way to get first blood. I get two shots, and I get one pen. I roll on the pen chart, and I roll a six, and it explodes hurting things around it, and I get first blood, which is awesome. And it only goes two inches scatter, uh, two inches explosion distance, so I think it hits a couple Terminators and a few Marines. It gets one wound on the Terminator. I roll my armor save. But I pass. That would have been cool if it killed a Terminator. And I get one wound on, this, on the Marines, but they also pass. So the explosion doesn't do anything, just explodes the pod, gets me first blood. And then I shoot my Stormbolters. I totally forgot to shoot my Stormbolters at the Marines. So we do that shot. I had it to reroll once again. And this time I only missed with one. It was just sweet. And then with my wounds, I get a bunch of wounds on them. The black one specifically on the Plasma Gun, because I got a precision shot. And I killed the Plasma Gun, which is my the biggest threat to my Deathwing. As well as a couple other members of his squad. And that's great. So then I take another shot at with the Devastator at his tank. It doesn't get hot, and it does, so I drop a pie plate on him, roll to see if it scatters, and it hits directly, which is great. <laughs> so I just need a 50-50 destroy it, and I don't, so just under it. So then I shoot the squad with my company master, maybe to kill one with a plasma gun, and I hit it and kill the closest one before jumping into assault. I'm really worried about... Frankly, I'm just worried about Overwatch and maybe not... I'm hoping not to lose too many wounds to Overwatch in that one. So then I once again split fire my heavy weapon at the tank and shoot my light weapons at the Marines. Shoot my assault cannon, get a few hits, and a pen. So it's going to be destroyed. I give him a cover save, he fails his cover save, and I roll to see if it explodes, but it doesn't, so it's just a wreck. And I take out his razor back at the same time, which is sweet. So now I'm just doing... As I said, my goal is right now just do some serious damage in turn two, and... Uh, just tie them up so they can't score. As well as kill those Centurions because they have the grab weapons. So I shoot my guns at the squad. They fail one and fail a feeling of pain. And fail a second one, fail a f second feeling of pain. So two guys are dead in that squad. Then he does a leadership check on that squad because they're vets and they're great. And a leadership check on the other squad, and they're good too. They lost combat tactics, right, in the new codex, so they can't fail morale when they want. So then I declare my first assault. He overwatches, gets a couple hits. He does get, get a couple, it gets hots, but he passes his armor saves. He just decided to fire all of his veterans one at a time. Once again, one got hot, but he passed his armor save, and then he got another hit. So he's forced to wound on these and gets a wound. I roll my armor save and I fail. So he actually kills a Terminator. My heavy weapon, assault cannon, 
just based on Overwatch. I roll my distance and get plenty in, so they'll be able to get in and hopefully do some damage. Uh, I decided not to challenge his HQ, because his HQ is pretty dangerous, uh, but he challenged me, so I will accept with that. And I declare that one, they can't Overwatch because they have Stolen Purposeful, and I get in. And I declare my last Overwatch with my Company Master, and as I said, I just hope he stays alive. He gets five, a four wound, five wounds on me, I roll my two up armor save, and fail two of them, so now he's down to just a single wound. I roll my distance, which is four inches, and that's plenty to get him in. But now I'm really concerned, because that Company Master is only down to a single wound, and I really wanted him to do some damage. So once again, as I said, he challenged me, I accepted. So we'll do uh, my attacks first, initiative step four for the challenge. I get one wound, but it's AP three, and he gets his two up armor save and passes it. Then his guys get to hit my, my Deathwing back, and they completely whiff. And then his leader hits my guy, and he has a tech weapon, so he gets to reroll one of the two wounds, and gets one wound. I roll my five up involve for my sergeant, and fail it, so I lose my sergeant. But then my fists get to go on his storm shield guys, and they need two wounds, so they get four wounds. But he rolls his armor saves, passes the first two, and fails one of the second two. So they are dead. So in the end, it's a tie combat. And uh, we stay there. Now, I get to go first with my company master. I get five attacks in the charge. And I only get one hit. With that one hit, I get a wound. And it kills one marine, being a power weapon. So then he piles back. And as I said, I just really want to kill some guys. Now I'm worried that he's going to die now. Because uh, only one wound left. I need to fail one two-up save. He hits back. Only gets one wound. And I pass my two-up armor save. So I won combat. He rolls his leadership check. And passes. So they hold. And now I challenge with Belial because he gets an extra kill point for every challenge kill. And he accepted because he didn't want to lose his, his extra attacks. So he goes with her first with his attacks because I'm at initiative one for all my guys. And doesn't do any damage whatsoever to my squad, essentially. Then he swings at Belial and doesn't get any wounds on Belial either. So I first swing with my guy that has the AP3 weapon. He gets one hit and a wound. So And then I swing with the guy who has the AP2 because I declared smite mode. He gets two hits, and on twos, boom. He kills two Centurions just by himself with a strength 10 AP2 hit to the face. And then Belial goes, and as you can kind of predict what's going to happen, Belial gets four hits, four wounds, and kills the Centurion Sergeant, getting another victory point for a challenge kill. And it is now, uh, the Centurions are dead. And Iron Knights, turn two. So we will see if Storm Talon comes in, and it doesn't. He rolls to see if his other drop pod comes in, and it does. So he rolls to see if it scatters, goes directly where he wants, moves his marines through cover once again. They're going to try to shoot up and kill my uh, my Deathwing that just landed. And he tries to kill the Devastator with a drop pod, gets a couple hits. No wounds, though. Then his squad decides to try to go for Belial's uh, Knight Squad. Need threes, of course, to hit. But they have to reroll ones because of Bolter Fire. And in the end, get a bunch of wounds. But I roll my armor saves. My invuls are good. My armor saves are good. So the whole squad stays intact. I just keep rolling two at a time because there's two before Belial. But luckily they all pass. And then the drop pod tries to snap fire at them. Misses entirely. They fire a missile at the Deathwing. Hits three of them with a missile launcher. It hits four. And then all those bolter fires, they get to reroll ones as I mentioned, due to the chapter tactics of the Imperial Fists. And they get a bunch of wounds. I roll my armor saves. Bail one. And I roll another set. And they're good. So I lose one Terminator due to all that fire, which is still some good damage. Back to close combat, my company master goes and gets three wounds and kills... Or sorry, two wounds, kills two Marines in that Devastator squad. And once again, they get to hit him back and... I just keep hoping he survives, frankly, at this point. But he's still slowly whittling them down and surviving. That's pretty nice. They then hit him back. They get four hits on him, which is pretty bad for me. But of those four hits, no wounds. So he won combat again, and he passed his leadership check. So that one guy is just keeping them tied up. Then back to the his HQ. So his guys go first on my Terminators. You go, and I fail one of my two plus armor saves. So I lose half my Terminators in that squad right there. And then his sergeant goes, 
And it's kind of predicting what's going to happen. For his two involved saves with his power fist, I fail one of them. And so I will die, but I get my fist back and I miss with both of them. So he wins combat and he consolidates two inches with his HQ, but not far enough to avoid Belial and the Knights in the following turn. And I'm gonna, I want to challenge his HQ. If I kill him, I get two points for that kill. All right, so here's what the table looks like after two turns. It's a long game so far. My guys are over there holding that objective. These guys are holding this one. My leader is somehow surviving, just swinging and killing two at a time. Eventually he'll fail an armor save. Yeah. He over. failed two charging into me. <laughs> That's true. And over here, uh, Belial versus his HQ. I'm debating whether I want to go for that because they'll instant kill each other. Yeah. That'd be pretty brutal. Except that you have the better involve save. I do have a better involve save, which is the funny part. But we'll see what happens here. And you'll see that one plasma. I don't know. Evilness will. I have too. two plasma guns. I have a plasma missile and a plasma gun in that squad. You charge me. That's true. And my terminators are there. Yeah. And that's it. And right now, I don't know how to call this game. It's really close. And we'll see what happens in turn three. So now, Dark Angels turn three. Right now, my goal is to take out his HQ with Belial and his squad. Unfortunately, there's a good chance that my HQ and his HQ are going to kill each other and give each other Slay the Warlord. But at least I'll get a point for killing a challenge kill, which is Belial's Warlord trait. And then my other goal is to, to just destroy that one tactical squad that landed near his objective. That way, I will just knock out all of his scoring units and he can't score any objectives. Uh, of course, he's going to try to prevent me from doing that. So I move up Belial right in front of his guys. And I decide to move up my, night, my Deathwing just a little farther so that they can possibly start shooting things in the following turns. I, at this point, I'm thinking my company master won't last very long. Maybe they can shoot the, the Devastators after he dies, but we'll see what happens there. So then I shoot my my plasma cannon at the space marines because that's all i can see it hits and i hit four of them of course i need twos to wound get three wounds and he rolls his cover saves fails one so i kill the space marine but it's better than doing nothing there's the knights they're just in the front there and with my one missile i shoot his hq squad So threes to hit, and twos to wound. Now I'm just because he doesn't get feel no pain against these. If he fails his invol, he dies. So he rolls, and he's good on the first one, and on the second one, good as well. So nothing happens there. So then my Deathwing decide to fire in front of them with the heavy weapon split firing at the other Marines, but I fail my leadership checks. So they all fire all their weapons at the squad in front of them. And now I'm concerned because I just want to kill like one or two. That way I can easily assault them in the following phase, but we'll see what happens. I get a bunch of hits. And with all those hits, once again, I get about five wounds, one rend, and four wounds. He removes the first guy and rolls all of his armor saves, but only fails one. So in the end, I only kill two in the end, and I'll be easily able to assault them. So Belial declares his assault. He overwatches, hits with the captain shot, which is a plasma pistol. So that might hurt my Terminators or hurt Belial. Fires the rest of his rounds. Once again, gets hot, but he rolls his armor save, and it's okay. And in the end, failed to wound by rolling a one. And I roll my distance three inches. So that was pretty sweet. He actually failed to wound with his plasma pistol. He's just not getting very lucky. He's had a little bit of bad luck so far in this game. So I assault in. We declare. I declare the assault. He accepts. And our HQs are going to swing for each other. And maybe do that double knockout punch. I declare my other assault with the Terminators. He overwatches with a bunch of shots on me. And once again, he gets to reroll ones. Even during snapshots. And gets a wound on me. I do pass my armor save. And I roll for my distance and get six inches, which is plenty to get them in. So back to the company master combat, which is going on already longer than I figured it would. And I get two wounds, so I kill two more space, two more of the Devastators. That's just hurting that squad. He then swings back, gets three hits, needs fours to wound, and gets the wound. I roll my two up armor save, and I pass. So the company master won again. He rolls his leadership check and fails. So we do our initiative roll off. Of course, I roll a six and I catch him. So he just stays in combat. Now it's the fun part. So we Belial versus his HQ. So we do initiative step four first, which is my guy, my knights and his guys. He rolls first, gets three hits, then a wound. I get my two up armor save and pass it. 
I then hit back. I get two hits with the first weapon. And these in the second one, I miss completely with the AP3 weapon. So he rolls a three-up armor save, passes both. So then we just do his HQ first. He needs fours to hit, and he misses with all of them. That is crazy. And I only get one hit on him, which I do wound. He gets a four-up invul due to his iron halo, and he fails. So I end up killing his warlord and get two more points, so now it's four to nothing. And he rolls his leadership check to see if he stays, and he does stay in combat. And then the final combat, as you can see, Terminators versus a tactical squad. You kind of can predict what's going to happen. He swings first and gets a wound, past my armor save. I then hit back with all my attacks. First the Sergeant Initiative 4. He gets a wound and kills a guy. And then all my fists go. And as you can see what happens, I need twos to squish, get a lot of hits. And I wipe out the entire squad in one combat. And due to the fact that he can't really score anymore, he decides to concede uh, at this point. So, as you can see, here's what the board looks like at the end of the game. I'm scoring two objectives, both mine and the one that was originally on his side. So, I'm up 10. And uh, I am still contesting that other one in the middle with that all awesome com company master that has decided not to die. But it was an awesome game. We had a lot of fun. And I can't wait for a rematch. So, it's a hearty handshake, a great game, and it is a Dark Angels victory. So, thank you very much for watching this battle report. And if you would like to see another awesome Space Marine Week battle report involving Eldar, click on the link below for a free 7-day trial of membership to the Mini Wargaming Vault. In addition to seeing this battle report, you will also gain access to many other battle reports as well as some awesome mini wargaming videos. So till next time, this is Jay saying, happy wargaming everyone.